I'm back again. Um, who knows why, but I'm going to give it another shot. I paddled the Northern Forest Canoe Trail last year in, uh, in about the same week that I'm leaving this year. And uh, this year we're going to... taken on water. So, uh, plan B is I got one boat, but I did get a boat. So uh, we went inside, uh, the boys were cleaning it off after I made sure that I could pack all my gear inside of it. I gave them my debit card and uh, they said, call your bank because your card has been rejected. Okay, so I called my bank and because I had to take a bunch of small deposits from ATMs to pay the big wad of cash, then uh, I didn't have any, they put a fraudulent claim on my card and froze it. So we got through the bank, we got that taken care of, uh, loaded up the boat. Three and a half later, three and a half hours later, I'm back on the ferry crossing over into Vermont. Uh, we get uh, on my boat and my maiden voyage is across Lake Champlain, about seven miles. We get going. This is Mac reporting on day eight of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. And uh, after a night's Good night's rest in the bed and breakfast in a nice soft bed. Fantastic breakfast. Uh, Russ stopped by at about 7 a.m. and uh, we got a chance to visit and catch up. And by a little after 8 o'clock, I was in the river in the Sequoia, uh, getting ready to get out of Vermont and head toward the international border. And uh, it was about seven miles to the border. And after 4.4 miles, it was really shallow. The water was down about a foot, boulders, mile after mile after mile. And at 4.4 miles, I had to call the doctor. Dr. James Brown. I feel good. Just like I should. Oh yeah, doctor. After he gave me a checkup from the neck up, then baby, I was on my way and things got better. So we proceeded up the beautiful Mississippi River until we hit mile marker 24. And by that time, I'm a little tired, 24 miles up the river. We ended up getting there and uh, it's the Grand Portage, which the Northern Forest Canoe Trail calls the Grand Daddy. And here we basically go 5.7 miles, but it's an elevation gain of 600 feet. Uh, and it's about halfway. Yeah, the good thing is, is the other half is back downhill. Finally, I ended up here 29 miles later and about one third finished on my journey of 750 miles on the shore of Lake Memorigog. And uh, here was home last night. And as you see, we've got, uh, I slept right on the shore of Lake Memorigog. So we can do an early morning crossing <laughs> on the big lake. More later. And uh, today we finished the Clyde River and uh, came all the way up to the Nulhegan River, which, I don't know, 20 some odd miles. And uh, right now I'm in this little river. This is the beginning of it. And uh, I've actually got my paddle right here and I'm, I'm trying out to do a little bit of fishing. And, and I think I got one. I think I got one. <laughs> yeah, I got one. And all of a sudden it comes along and here's... Here, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> there was a skinny dipper. Yeah. And, and he came up and, and he started talking and he saw my boat and he said, Oh, I know about the trail. And so we talked for about five minutes and so I'm, I'm going like, dude, it's almost seven o'clock at night and the mosquitoes are out. It's, they're not bothering you. Know, I'm thinking all this stuff and no, he's fine. And so we part our ways and I go through and puff and puff and go through there. About 10 minutes later, I'm thinking, I blew it. I wasn't on my game, man. I should have gotten my camera out, you know? 
all this stuff where, oh, I did three rivers today, or I did another stream, and it was hard, it was upriver. Could you imagine bonus footage? Yeah, <laughs> bonus footage? Yeah, that'd been pretty good. That would have been, I could just imagine that thing would have been viral. And it had gone viral, this guy's mother could have seen it, and she would have said, son, didn't I teach you anything? Where were your clothes? Don't you know you can get ticks? Now, at some point in my videos, I have to make a disclaimer to the National, uh, uh, to the Northern Forest, I don't even know who they are, the Northern Forest Canoe Tail. There, I got it. They are in no way responsible for anything I say and do. It's not their fault. No, it's so, not. We were going along, we were doing pretty good, and uh, all of a sudden, I was riding the wave, and the back end of my boat started going up and I could see the front end starting to go into the water about a foot in, two foot in. I'm going, Scooter, we gotta go. Let's go, baby. Whoop, whoop, dive, dive, we're going in. So I leaned back because I knew that that would help the buoyancy. I just gotta correct here just a second. So we came out of that and uh, that was about mile five out of 20 miles, so it's been Hi, this is Mac reporting on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail, and day 19 was another memorable day after camping on Thoreau's Island, which was really cool, and there were three moose walking around, saw them on the shore, got some pictures. Uh, we ended up going about 17 miles up the Penobscot River, uh, did a couple of lakes, and ended up going into Mud Pond Carry, which is kind of a rite of passage on the uh, on the trail, and that's 1.8 miles of walking down and up, up and over a stream that's less than three feet wide and sometimes knee deep in mud. One time you go over that, uh, I was able to do it in a single pass, which means I carried all my gear and pulled my boat at the same time. Michael reporting live from the Allagash Wilderness Waterway, and we are at Allagash Falls here in Maine. And Hi, this is Mac and today is Tuesday, June 7th and I am here reporting live at the Northern Forest Canoe Trail finish line in Fort Kent where I have just completed 740 miles from New York. Hey, this is Mac. It's uh, May 28th and it's day one on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. And uh, this year, paddling 740 miles all the way across uh, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And uh, gonna be doing it with Mike. Michael? Hey, signed in. We're good. And uh, JC and Maggie are gonna be going with us this time as well. So my third time, hopefully this is gonna be easier than the last two, but who knows, we've got a lot of adventure in front of us. Okay, so last year I decided to run Separator Rapids in the second section, and that was the year that I ended up having some fatal damage to my Kevlar kayak. And uh, these rapids right here going underneath Orbed Road on the Saranac River could be where the problem was because I did hear a loud thump going under this. Here we are on Lake Champlain, coming up on North Hero Island, day five on the NFCT. Right Dude, at the international border, and Canada is closed. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we are pitched our tents right next to the border patrol. So we got to be good boys tonight because there's right there.
Went from the international border just north of Richford all the way to Newport. And the other thing that was unique is uh, we ended up doing rivers upstream. We did the longest portage, the Grand Portage, and then we did all of Lake Memmergoth in one day. So a little tired, but uh, well worth it. And I think, uh, I think Mike had a story that he wanted to tell. All right, so we're sleeping the other night in our hammock in our tent and I hear, hey, are you guys awake? Are you awake? So I go out and the lady's backyard that we're sleeping in is standing there with two chocolate mochas. It's about 8, 8.30 at night and we're pretty tired so we had been asleep but I accepted those and uh, you know, told her we'd drink those and thanks for that for a hot drink. And then she offers us fresh raspberry pie with ice cream. So I <laughs> uh, couldn't really partake of that because, um, well, Mac was sleeping and I was I had just woken up. So uh, thanked her and yeah, that was interesting. Here you go, Mac. <laughs> This is Mac and today is Monday, June 11th, checking in to the western terminus of the Northern Forest Canoe Rail, getting ready to uh, attempt it for my fourth time. And we'll be going through New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. Total of about 740 miles. Should be an epic trip. Even though I've done it a few times before, it never gets old. <laughs> She's shitting bricks. <laughs> You're listening to Max, the doctor. <laughs> End of the line. Hi, this is Mac, and today is the 13th of July, 2018, and I am here at the eastern terminus of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail where I've just paddled and portaged my Kruger Sea Wind, 740 miles across New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. 
as I've stated before, it's a very long trip, a very long trip. Uh, the first one might have been the most memorable, but every time this is my fourth time, it's the best. So it's been a great time and uh, I truly, truly. Well, today is June 3rd, 2019, and I'm here at the Western Terminus of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. And uh, I brought a team with me this year to be able to do the Northern Forest from New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. 740 miles of uh, nothing but wonder. <laughs> we got a sunshiny morning to get started. And uh, I'm just really excited this year that uh, uh, everything's gonna go right. You know, you never know, but uh, we're looking forward to a great trip. Day one, here we come. just got recorded. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, we've got them coming pretty good. To the beaver dam. Max destroying their real estate. So, so Maggie, tell me, what do you think carrying all this shit through the trees in the woods? Are you still loving the NFCT? Look at the camera, smile, give me a smile. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the white knight being dragged leaving his telltale white marks on the stones that's how we know where to go we just follow max white marks but i think i'll take his lead and drag it in the mud as much as i can because i really don't like it on my head the real humor of this trail is all along the way, you see pieces of duct tape, a random shoe sole, a yak track, because the mud has sucked it. Okay, these are my least. Hi, this is Mac, and today is July 1st. And I'm at the end of the 740 mile Northern Forest Canoe Trail for the fifth time. And uh, over that time, I've covered 120 rivers, 300 lakes and ponds, and over 600 miles of portaging. And I'm here in Old Saybrook Point, Connecticut, getting ready to paddle the Connecticut uh, River from source to sea. And uh, right now I'm down by the Atlantic Ocean, so I've 
got a little bit of a tough weather, but by the time I get all the way up by the Canadian border where I get started, hopefully it's going to be better. Stay tuned, I'll be giving updates along my way. Day one, and so it begins. Uh, we're now in Canaan at the uh, northern terminus of the Connecticut River Paddler's Trail. And uh, I got to take a couple of weeks to be able to go down this river. And I'm really looking forward to it. This morning we had some wind and a little rough weather, but now I got sunny skies. So it's amazing how things change. Well, we made it through day one and uh, a little brisk last night. It was about 38 degrees. But uh, here we are, uh, camped right here where some of this cobble comes through. And there's a little island right in the center. And I've got my boat with my tent on it right there. And we're getting ready to shove off for our first full day. Well, it's the uh, morning of day five. Four days, uh, 125 miles, uh, about a third of the way through. And uh, the third day was kind of rough. The fourth day turned out much better. The weather got better and uh, had three damn portages. <laughs> yep, damn portages they were. <laughs> There's no good portage. There just isn't a good portage. And uh, everything's pretty good. Uh, I paddled uh, yesterday like another 37 miles, so we're making good time. And right now I'm camped right here in this uh, little section just pulled off from the river. And it's a beautiful morning. Let's do it again. <laughs> night after thinking I wasn't going to do any portages yesterday, ended up doing two, and right now I'm at the end of the second portage, Sumner Falls. Very few people would uh, probably be able to be sitting out here on the edge of these falls because the water is so low that everything is just way down. And as you can see, as I span around here, I'm camped on the beach right over there. The sun's just trying to peek over the tree line right now. And I got a little bit of a light breeze. It was great temperature, great weather. And so <laughs> we're gonna do it again. sunrise in Northampton uh, about 72 miles from final destination and I'm still going uh, yesterday was a pretty good day pretty productive uh, the night before I got to sleep in a lean-to which was okay but uh, I'm right now here still camped on my beach you can see it's a nice big long stretch right here we've got some quiet waters uh, the river's still been calm Last night it was 89 degrees at bedtime and crawling in my tent, it was, it was warm. It was really warm. So I went swimming <laughs> just to cool off. 
It's going to be a scorcher again today, so I want to get started a little bit early and try to beat some of the heat. And uh, so it's Monday, June seventh, and I'm here in Old Saint Paul, Connecticut. And uh, this is the finish for the Connecticut River Paddler Spring, which I just completed. And Ten days ago, I drove up to Canaan, Vermont. I spent the next nine and a half days paddling 365 miles to get back here. Special thanks to Brent for getting me up to Canaan, and thanks to Tim for paddling with me. Anybody interested in uh, my daily journals? I did. I did make some, and I'll attach them to this post. And uh, there's the ocean. Can you smell it? Nice. Very nice.
Okay. There's the tree. There's a boat. Look in the trees. <laughs> JT. We hope it comes out. Hi, this is Mac and today is Sunday, June 11th, and I'm here at the eastern terminus of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail where I just finished paddling and portaging uh, 740 miles through New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. And uh, it's a very long trip. <laughs> Even though uh, this is my sixth time in nine years, I feel very fortunate to be able to have arrived here safely. Um, I'm paddling a Kruger Sea Wind, and uh, this year I have named it, and uh, her name is Miss Daisy. So Miss Daisy and I also had company with J.C. Ridge, and he managed to put up with me. This is day 30, and we, um, we started out a little bit slow, but he finished so strong I can hardly keep up with him anymore. What's next? Well, I want to get home and get rid of this itchy beard. Good luck.
Moosehead Lake. We just got off it. There's the Castro. This is Mac and it's Friday, June 21st, and I'm here at the eastern terminus of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail, where I just paddled and portaged 740 miles with my Kruger Sea Wind, known as Miss Daisy. <laughs> we started in, in uh, uh, Old Forge, New York in the Adirondacks, paddled down to Lake Champlain, up into Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, Vermont, and then Maine, all the way up to the Canadian border. It's a long trip. Uh, it's my seventh time in 10 years, and each year I, it seems like I've met more wonderful people. This year I got a chance to uh, paddle with Marianne, and she came on board at about 300 miles and finished really strong with the last 400 miles. Great trip, probably gonna be my last one. <laughs> I think I've about had enough. But uh, I highly recommend it to everybody who has uh, a great sense of adventure and wants to get out there and see things that are just absolutely incredible. <laughs> 